Good morning. Uh, my name is David Logan. I was the project manager on the Blue Mountain Sewerage Transfer Scheme. I'm Neville Kidd. Uh, I was the construction manager on the project. The purpose of the project uh, was to uh, decommission a number of sewage treatment plants in the top end of the Blue Mountains and to transfer that sewage down to a modern treatment plant at the base of the Blue Mountains. The project involved the 13.4 kilometre tunnel from Lawson up to Katoomba and that was just one tunnel, three and a half metre diameter with several curves in it and there was another tunnel from Lawson down to Hazelbrook as well as that. Well, it was three and a half kilometres long. There were several shafts along these tunnels, uh, deep shafts up to I think 80 metres was the deepest shaft and these allowed uh, local um, little local sewage networks uh, and the local communities to be uh, linked into the tunnels. Probably the biggest innovation that we had on the project was this combination of TBM, continuous conveyor, and um, what we did with the material when we got it out of the tunnel. And one of the big factors in this was the fact that the conveyor advanced as we tunnelled, without breaking it, without changing it, all that sort of thing. So that technology was new to all of us. The, using a, a dynamic system like this is far different to a static conveyor. You've got continual changes in tension and length of the belt, curves to negotiate, and every three kilometres we had to install another drive head to, to minimise the tension in the belt and to put more power into the belt. The continuous conveyor system uh, was only used in the US uh, prior to our project and on large diameter tunnels. So we had to look at that really hard as to how we could apply it to this project. We decided that we'd hang it from the roof of the tunnel, whereas normally it's hung from uh, on the side so they can get access to it. In doing so, we had it basically got out of the way. That proved to be a very successful decision. We did our research properly. We went and looked at several projects in the uh, United States where it had been used. So we had definitely done our assessment and our risk management. We were quite comfortable with going ahead with conveyor. The TBM and the conveyor system and the actual the ground conditions were really, really good for getting good tunnelling production. So that whole combination led to us breaking a lot of records, uh, the daily record, the shift record, the weekly record, and the monthly record. We broke a lot of records in tunnelling at the time, and some of those records still stand today. So we really, really set the bar high for the Australian tunnelling industry. New benchmarks for our tunnel productivity, and not just in Australia, but really probably across the world. Uh, the Blue Mountains Tunnel Scheme was a creative project in many senses. The application of a conveyor system to build it, the fact that we combined several tunnels into one, which was enabled by the conveyor system effectively, and the application of that conveyor system on the small diameter tunnel. Those are the key factors where we really got creative for this project. McConnelldale had all, always been a company with an interest in tunnels. However, this project put us in the league where we could, we could compete for the larger projects were, that were around, not just in New South Wales, but through the whole area of operation of the company. The tunnelling industry in Australia uh, still regards that project as a major achievement. And in fact, I go so far as to say that in the tunnelling world it's still regarded as a major achievement. You know, I look back at, you know, that was nearly 30 years ago now and uh, I look back on the project and I think, I still think, wow, what a great job, what a great project that was. And, you know, it's, look, even if it was done today again, it would still be in that same category.